standing across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, representing SVG Nace and bringing into the cage a record of five wins and three defeats, presenting Jordan Scully! Bout number five, here we go. Zubayrayev in the blue trim gloves. Scully in the red trim. Scully opening up with a high kick, trying to get in on the hips of Zubayrayev. Two high level wrestlers here. Zubayrayev there looking for the Ouchi Gary, but unsuccessful. Yeah, Scully pushing him up against the fence. Looking very composed here in the first opening exchanges. These guys didn't take their eyes off each other at all during the introductions. Little shoulder bump there. Beautiful work by Scully in the clinch. Zubayrayev goes for the Uchimata. Again, unsuccessful. Scully showing great defense. Throwing some knees up the middle here. After a year out, very eager to see how Scully looks, performs. Byrayev throwing a kick out of the southpaw stance there. A switch kick, I should say, the left leg. Ooh. Spinning back kick to the body. Scully shoots in on the takedown, but Zubarayev now has got the body lock. It's more of an over-under. He doesn't have that right arm underhook, unfortunately, but he's, uh, he's still pressing for this one. Again, looking for that inside trip, and this time he gets it. Very nice from Zubarayev there, landing in the, putting Jordan on his back, which he's probably not used to. We'll see how he how he fares off his back. Liking what I've seen so far, though, by Scully. He's managing that good wrist control. He's pulling down on the back of the head to break his opponent's posture. So he's giving himself a good base from which to start those attacks. That's a nice heavy shot from the top by Zubarayev. Scully moving the hips though, he's toying with the idea of spinning for that arm lock. Got the foot on the hip, he's incrementally climbing and he's he tried to pivot but the elbow of Zubarev wasn't in the correct position. Shoulder, the leg going over the shoulder, he toyed with the idea of a triangle attempted Scully. Zubayrayev smashing down on that knee shield of Scully, trying to limit the movement in his hips. Landing some big bombs as the, the first round almost draws to a close. Clearly not a guy you want to be giving the dominant top position to. Yeah, uh, I think Zubayrayev will just about steal this round and um, yeah, he's done enough in the in this latter uh, stanza, hasn't he? Absolutely, absolutely. I think Jordan's gonna have to regroup and come back in. So round two about to get underway. Nice teep to the body here, and the, the kick goes up high from Scully again. Zubayrev trying to connect to his opponent. Nice sprawl here by Scully, and he's got an underhook of his own. Jordan framing on the hips of Zubayrayev and just keeping him away from him. Look to land knee in the clinch. We can see that Zubayrayev, uh, a, a real big advocate of those judo trips and throws. He's gone for a couple of Ouchi Garis and Anuchi Mata so far. Tried to step across for a Harry Goshi just there. And loving the balance and defensive awareness in these uh, wrestling exchanges so far by Scully. And he's using those shoulder bumps very, very effectively. We can see they're popping the chin of Zubayrayev. They're not just touching his opponent, they're really having an impact. I like the head position as well here of Jordan, keeping Zubayrayev's chin up nice and high. See if he can uh, get him to the mat here. 
Derek Black's about to separate them here. Yeah, he's looking for it. just that little bit more activity. A couple of the two guys just rested on their laurels a little bit temporarily, but Tsupairayev manages to reverse Scully. Scully trying really hard to get put that arm back inside. He's really struggling with the pummel here. We can see how good Tsupairayev is at keeping the, the clinch position. They separate. Time to let the hands go for both fighters now. Again, Zubayarev looking for that hip throw. You can hear Peter Queeley in the corner of Jordan Scully calling for the shoulder strikes over and over. Well, Zubayarev dives over here and he's chasing that left arm, Scully, but he loses it. Scramble ensues. Scully is in on the takedown now himself. And Scully finds himself on his back. Ooh. Nice teep to the face by Scully. A very, very well-timed shot. And then the, the high kick lands too. That left hook just whizzed past the chin. Yeah. Right in front of us here, we could hear whizzing past the chain of Scully. Scully happy to just sit down into this butterfly guard. Again, with an opponent like uh, Zubarayev, I don't know how happy I'd be to be sitting into the bottom position, but time is going to run out and he's probably not going to get the opportunity to land those big bombs in the, in, from the top that he did at the end of round one. Very, very close round. Interesting uh, to see how this one plays out. We still got another three minutes to roll with this one the cardio to keep up this pace going into the third and final round but both guys look pretty pretty fresh and hungry coming out for this last stanza yeah five three minute rounds might be more apt for a for a contest like this both guys have cardio for days and the the mentality as well to want to just keep going until one person drops Zubairiyev has repeatedly tried that hip throw against the oncoming opponent and Goes for the outside trip this time and manages to turn the corner and get Scully to the floor. Very well executed. Scully looking to scoop up the, the right hook of Zubaryev. Yeah, he's trying to just block the hips and not, uh, not allow the hooks to sink in. He's done very well with blocking the hooks so far. Zubaryev has that body lock, so he's not going to get thrown off the top. He's managed to get a hook in now and he's trying to get that second, but lovely scrambles again. The scrambles in this bout from both fighters have been so entertaining to watch. Scully escapes out the side of Zubaryev's hooks. Zubaryev looking to pull the position and get, a, get another hook in and get at the back once again. And the left hand of Scully just creeped into position there and blocked the hook, but he's got it in at the second attempt. And now he's got a much more controlling position. The next step from here would be to try and free a hand and work that, that choke, although Scully's doing a great job of just clamping down on the wrists of Zubaryev, not, not leaving him any free hands to to cinch up the choke. Leg goes over the shoulder to try and trap that right arm of Scully. He's trying to go for that crucifix. And Scully's scrambling for everything he's got and he's managed to get back to that top position. But he's gonna need to land some damage now and really, really rain down some blows. We can see Zubairayev clamping down on the back of his head and trying to break down that posture. Scully just trying to tra track his hips and follow him here. and needs to posture up and probably land a couple of shots to, to, to really put a stamp on this round. This is a very, very close fight and a couple of big, heavy, impactful shots could be enough to get either fighter over the edge in this one. You can see both guys still brimming with energy. Zubarayev moving constantly and landing shots of his own here on the bottom, but. Neither, neither fighter landing anything very impactful. It's going to take a couple of big ones, I think. Yeah, both guys just want this so badly. They both want to win. They have such a, a competitiveness in them. It's incredible. It's inspiring to watch. Scully just burying his head into the chest of Zubarayev and driving forward with that pressure. A couple of big shots now to finish the round. The leg lock attempt by Zubarayev. Scully brushes it off like it's nothing. And scrambles down, tries for the side control, loses the top position, Zubarayev now reverses him and 
The speed of the scrambles, Yubarayev going to work now with some left hooks from this half guard almost position, but that's it, three rounds in the books. Both guys will be glad to get back in action after a long break, but let's see what the judges have to say about this one. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this bout, 29-28, for your winner, by unanimous decision, Alex!